Thank you. <clears throat> all right. Good morning, everyone. What a beautiful turnout. And first of all, can everyone just please give it up for Ernie? Yeah. My gosh. You know, sad, sadly, we're watching uh, this phenomena kind of across the nation where you're watching uh, large multi-million corporations, multi-billion corporations, close down stores, restaurant closures, everything, uh, frankly, post-pandemic has left a lot of the business community struggling to make it. And in spite of that trend, I continue to see who this community has as a true anchor friend. Someone that has continued to reinvest in this community for decades and not, well, clearly leave his mark uh, in declaring everything part of Arneyville, <laughs> but continues to give back very generously and continues to reinvest in this community that he calls home. And there aren't a lot of people who will make that continued and sustained investment, but people need to recognize that that takes not only a lot of resiliency and bandwidth, because there's been a lot that he's had to personally overcome, but it shows his very deep commitment to making sure that the Sunland, to, the greater Sunland to Hunga community and all of the foothills is a place that everyone proudly calls home. And it's for that reason that I'm here, because he has continued to reinvest in this community that frankly, it's been difficult. I'll tell you, when I took office, Back in 2017, we tried to encourage more investment into these communities. Uh, we have certain properties that continue to be very large scale properties that are not being developed for a variety of reasons. But having people identify the value of investing in a community, it takes someone to start that effort. And Artie has really started that effort and sustained that effort, putting his own money where his mouth is. And for that, we are here to celebrate this really wonderful new culinary establishment among all the different amenities that this property offers. He's created space for everyone to be celebrated and recognized, to expand their talents, whether they're here uh, recording a podcast. He's created space where everyone is welcomed and everyone can make a mark for this community. And it's for that reason that I'm proudly standing here with some of my other colleagues that have come out to join and celebrate this really special occasion because I've watched the transformation of the space. When it was filled with all the rental, uh, with all the rentals uh, that used to be uh, stored here, I've watched the transformation. And I don't know how he does it. I mean, I think my schedule is crazy, but with three little kids running around the house, with, and, and he's just as much uh, involved in being a dad as he is in caring for his employees and caring for this community and caring for all of the business investments that he's made in this community. And it's for that reason that I'm here and it's for that reason that I know you're all here, but it's really beautiful to see the quality of the products that are being produced and the number of people from this community that he continues to employ and make investments in. And that's why we are all here, to celebrate the contributions of our friend, Arnie Abramian. Please, another round of applause. Arnie, I have a certificate to congratulate you on this place. Come on, Noah, you too. The sidekick. Whoa. Hi, Noah. Hi, Noah. Bernice. You're supposed to hold me. Ari, this way, but I didn't see the picture. I absolutely second those words, but before we give Arnie the floor, we've got a full schedule and I'd like to bring up our next guest, Councilwoman Imelda Padilla, to say a few words. Hello everybody. 
everyone. Good morning or good afternoon. Uh, you know, I think my colleague Monica Rodriguez pretty much summed it up about what a beautiful uh, story it is with what has happened with this property, being her district. For those of you who don't know, I'm just your neighbor next door of the 6th district. And I consider Summit Tahunga one of uh, the communities that I refer to as my personal home and places that I love as well. My father worked down here for a very long time, so it's like being at home for me as well. So to see this sort of thing um, come together, I'm really proud of Arnie. I'm really proud of everyone in his family and his entire network. I knew this was going to be a great party. I'm like, oh, we're going to go celebrate Arnie, all right? It's going to be a good party. And I really, I, I, I'm... I'm dazzled, to be very honest with you, with what you've done with the place. From creating this little space over here for your animals. I remember when I first came here and I saw the chickens, I didn't even want to go to our event anymore. I just wanted to hang out with the animals. Very sun and tahanga. So, love that. Love this art. What, what is this? I don't know what it is, but I like it. Uh, <laughs> so, thank you for having me. Thank you for being a supporter. Um, within your own community here of Sonata Tahanga, but also of the entire valley, Arnie. You really are. Um, so thank you, and I wish you nothing but the best. And to everyone that helped make this happen too, this is also your party, and congratulations. And know that I am a friend. Please reach out to my office for anything. Thank you all. Have a great event. Thank you, Councilwoman. Great seeing you as always. Up next, we have Council Member Kevin DeLeon. Thank you so very much. Good afternoon. Salman Tahanga, how are we doing today? How are we doing today? I want to give a very special thank you to the councilwoman uh, who represents uh, Salman Tahanga, uh, City Council District Number 7. Thank you very much for your incredible leadership. Uh, out here in the valley. Uh, I don't represent uh, the valley, I represent the other side of the hill, but I always hear from Monica all of the wonderful things out here. And I can tell you, you, you cannot find uh, a more fierce leader, uh, a, a warrior uh, for the well-being of her constituents uh, here in CD7, uh, but especially here in Salon Tahanga. So why don't we get up for our councilwoman, Monica Rodriguez, right here. It, it's, it's, it's great to see my friend also too, who's the next door neighbor, but represents all of the valley as well too. Uh, her district is all in the valley. That's uh, Imelda Padilla for CD6. And I know that she's a valley girl and it's wonderful to see you here. And I know that she's been doing great things representing other parts of the valley here in your city hall in downtown Los Angeles. But one thing, very quickly, I represent CD14. The closest point is Eagle Rock, Ball Heights, downtown and Sereno. So I'm a little distance from here. Nonetheless, you know, to come here uh, to be part of Arneville and to be part of uh, uh, this wonderful celebration uh, with the community is a real honor for me to be here with Arnie. L and let me say this, you see all the businesses here. You know, Arnie has his restaurant, you know, he has also to Arnie uh, uh, weed, uh, uh, weed way as well to cannabis and you open up the bakery here too for a lot of munchies, that's really smart. You know, what you're doing right here, I see what you're doing here, right there. <laughs> really smart, you know. Got the cannabis shop, you got the munchies here too, so, you know, you're full circle here. But I don't know if it's good. you're going to have an Arnie's Home Depot next, Arnie's Pharmacy, CVS, you know, here. Because Arnie here, you know, is the mayor, you know, of Arnieville, of Sunland Tahanga. <laughs> And I, I see Madam, Madam Councilwoman uh, Rodriguez, I don't know if you know this here, but this is Arnie PD, Arnie Police Department as well too. Yay! So I don't know if Arnie's cruising up and down the street here, you know, uh, checking on and everybody's, so, but uh, <laughs> look at it right there. But I want to thank you very much uh, because the impact you've had has not just been here, you know, in Salentahanga, but nearby the city of Glendale and adjacent to the city of Glendale, you know, where, where I live over in, in Eagle Rock, which is city 14. So even though it's a little ways, you know, I, I know I'll be coming here. You were so wonderful and gracious when you hosted an event for me uh, at your restaurant. And I just want to say on behalf of, uh, like, you know, Monica Rodriguez, uh, on behalf of the constituents of CD14, I, I want to also recognize you uh, for Arnie's Bakery and Cafe. May you open up many more shops and may we all 
of citizens of LA and Salentahanga and CD Council District 7 continue, continue to enjoy everything that you give to us. With that, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, and have a wonderful day. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Get some photos. Photos. Thank you so much. Come on. Let's go, Mr. Ari, Liam. Come. Ari, Ari. Ari, Papa, Ari. Ari, Ari, no. Ari, 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 come here. Come here. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, council member. Be careful to say thank you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. We'll get it fixed. All right. Luckily, it's, it's all fixable. All right. As long as the glass is fixable. You want to, uh, actually, the center is just pulling in. So do Paisa. 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 Senator DeRozzo. Okay. Thank you so much, council member. Up next is Senator DeRozzo, and we have Paisa here. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Well, it takes a village. It takes a village to make a community work. And Arnie, obviously, you see, has a village here. And it is through small businesses like Arnie's that California economy goes and drives and becomes better. And on behalf of California State Senator Durazo, who only represents one, a few blocks away, a few streets away down the street, I'm here to say congratulations to the Abramian family. Thank you for contributing to the economy of the state of California, and thank you for all you do for our community. So on behalf of Senator Durazo, I'd like to present this certificate. Arne John, Habardeng, Shunora Galen, Amen to Arat Neid, and Shunora I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. One more time. Oh, let's get some photos Arne in. Court, this way. Come this on way. closer. Hi, you want to come up? You want to get the babies in the shot with this one too? Is he here? Come he's, on. He's coming. He's <laughs> you want to see Come on. Adi. Adi, John. Adi, 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 Adi. Adi, 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 All right, up next to say a few words, we have Senator Portentino. Yeah. Hey, how's everybody doing? This is exciting. Let's give it up for Arnie. Let's give it up for the family. Let's make some noise. Come on up here, my friend. You can bring the babies too. Bring everybody. Of course. So I'm State Senator Anthony Portentino. This is my Senate district and proud to be a good friend of Arnie's. We've been working on public policy and all kinds of things and it's great to celebrate just more successful businesses in Southern Tahunga, right? Right? Yes. This is a success story. Let's make some noise. Absolutely. And the fact that the whole family's involved, the fact that it just continues to grow is really good things because small businesses are the backbone of our economy and Arnie is a great small business owner and a wonderful friend. So on behalf of the California State Senate, I've joined my colleague, Senator DeRazzo, in recognizing Arnie's Bakery and Cafe. By the way, the food's good too. That also helps, right? The food's good too, right? Let's give it up for the chefs, the bakers, the workers, everybody who makes this wonderful place. So this restaurant will provide delicious pastries, coffee, and continue with other items. So come back, come back, you know, right? You want everybody to come once a Definitely. week. Definitely. Once, once a, a week, week, once a day. Once a day, once, once a week, coffee, pastry, whatever. And if they don't have it here, he's got it at another place down the street. So on behalf of the California State Senate, I just wish you well. Shinoravo Umem. Congratulations and success and God bless. And let's give it up for Arnie and the entire family. Yeah, come down here. 
Hadi işte no. Everybody say cheese. They got that. One more time for Senator Anthony Portantino. Once a day or once a week, you guys. This is uh, where you're going to be. Friedman's office. I don't know where they are. Oh, Laura Friedman's office. All right. So up next, uh, we have Laura Friedman's office, and I think we have a staff member from her office to speak on her behalf. Hi everybody, my name is Anthony with Assemblymember Laura Friedman. Uh, she apologizes that she cannot attend today, uh, but she is very proud of Arnie for his contributions to the community, as well as the grand opening of Arnie's Bakery and Cafe. Um, I come from a family of small business owners in the San Fernando Valley, so I understand the struggles and the hardships that come with uh, being a small business owner, but it is so needed, and it's what really gets the community together. Is community, is events like this, um, great openings like this, you don't see this at big corporations. You know, Arnie really brings the community together. So on behalf of the California State Assembly and Assemblymember Laura Friedman, uh, congratulations on this beautiful great opening. And thank you for everything you have done for the Southern Metonga community. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Here, can I do a picture? Uh, yeah. Right there. And we have Adam Schiff's office. All right, up next, uh, we have Adam Schiff to say a few words. Uh, office, Sonia. And Sonia on, on Adam Schiff's office behalf. <laughs> Thank you so much. We are so <laughs> proud. I'm the past president of Southern Tonga Chamber of Commerce, and I'm very, very proud for, um, for Arnie here. Um, congratulations, Arnie. This is a great, great event. You always do the best events in town, by the way. So, on behalf of Congressman Adam Schiff, I would like to present you with a certificate of recognition. You have to take a picture. House of Representatives Adam Schiff, certificate of recognition presented to Arnie Abramyan. Okay, congratulations, Arnie. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here. And I'm then I know over there. Let's go cut the ribbon. Let's go cut the ribbon, or should I just speak? I'll just speak. Yeah. Let's give it up for all the dignitaries that spoke today. Without further ado, I'm going to pass the mic to the man of the hour, Mr. Arnie Boo yeah, himself, Arnie O'Brien, to say a few Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for coming. I appreciate you. Uh, I'm going to say my little speech real quick. For once, I've actually written something down, believe it or not. So I want to actually first start by thanking God. Uh, this wouldn't be possible without His grace. Uh, some of the difficult and challenging times I've faced in my life, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for someone that had my side, that was by my side. I do believe I'm favored by God, and I wouldn't want to lose that. May God work through me to help our community and humanity. Thank you. I also want to thank my mother, the only person I can't win an argument against. Because her final say is, I gave birth to you, I brought you to this world, and I know you, so top that. And I just can't top that, so. And through my younger days as a hard-headed child, and as I got older, my head got harder, and um, she's loved me unconditionally. So, love you, Mom. There it goes. And I also want to thank my sister, she's somewhere here. I wasn't the easiest brother to grow up with. <laughs> Gee, she's right there, front row. Uh, yeah, it was a rough one growing up, but I couldn't have asked for a better sister. So I also owe it to my father in heaven who passed away at a young age of 42. 
So when I reached 42, I realized how short his life was cut. He actually lived a full life in his short period of time. But as I got older and started my family, I realized that 42 is nothing. I mean, not everybody is privileged to become a grandfather or a grandparent. And so for the grandparents in the room, cherish your grandchildren. For the grandchildren, cherish your grandparents. Love your elderly. Appreciate them. They have a lot of wisdom, a lot of love, a lot of history they can teach you and tell you. And when you leave here, actually call your grandparents, your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your son, your daughter, your wife, your husband. Tell them you love them because you might not get another chance. And you might not actually see life as, you know, a valuable gift when you get so caught up with today's chaos. But sometimes you just have to take a break and appreciate your loved ones and everybody around you. Because my uncle Hovick said, you give up your health to make money, and then you give up your money to get your health back, and then you die. So when are you going to have fun? When are you going to enjoy life? So I want to thank my uncle for always having my back. After my father passed away, he's always been there for me. And when I was broke and I used to go borrow money, I actually used to ask for a lot of money. And I would say, I need a little money. He's like, how much? I go, five, ten, twenty thousand. 20,000. He's like, that's not a little money. A little money is 50 bucks, 100 bucks. So he's always at my back. I love you. Thank you. Oparjan. I appreciate you. So with that, it brings me to my wife. I thank my wife for understanding and always putting up with my craziness and my crazy ideas. She gifted me the family I always dreamed of, and for that I will forever be grateful. Now, my crazy ideas also got her arrested. And for two years, my mother-in-law didn't speak with me. So I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing, but that was life taking its course. As a family man and as an entrepreneur, I didn't have the luxury of tucking my children in every night. I don't have that luxury. I'm not always there for school events and family events, but I hope one day when they look back, they understand the sacrifices I made for them. So every entrepreneur, anyone that's going after their dreams has to make sacrifices. And if you have family members in your life that are sacrificing, please see the bigger picture. So I want to thank our staff, all my staff, the boss ladies, Lisa, Hera, Melissa, our crazy team of Eduardo, Luis, Hector, Jose, Norvin, Arthur, and then we have Ines, Dasha, Reza, Vahan, Imani, Destiny, Adenia, and everybody else before, and that came, that will come after. Without the right team holding it down, we wouldn't be here. I appreciate you all and love you all. And something funny actually that happened to us is I had a helper named Jose, and when we hired Chris, I said, Jose, meet Chris, and he shook his head and said, what's wrong with you? And Chris was shocked. He's like, what do you mean? What's wrong with me? I said, nobody normal works here, so what's wrong with you? So <laughs> we have a very interesting bunch. Um, last not but, but not least, I want to thank our customers and our community. We wouldn't be here without you. Of course, one of our customers actually put it the best. He said, Arnie, you're not the cheapest, you're not the fastest, and things are not always on point. But I love what you're doing. I support you, and for that, I shop at your locations. It's customers like this that have been part of our journey and success through the years. Being patient with our growing pains and difficulties. I appreciate you all and I'm grateful. Together we can build Arneville to be a safe and prosperous destination for families. And last, my success is your success. It's our success. In my 20s, I was young and restless, wanted to conquer the world. Now I just want to conquer the day. And without failures, I wouldn't be here. Without failures, we wouldn't value success. So dream big, stay committed, committed, be disciplined, and put in the work before you know it, your dreams will too come true. Let's build a better community for our youth. The best success I could describe is building a village, building a business, building a culture, and not being there, and the youth can actually enjoy it when you're gone. That is what success is to me. And I'll leave you with this. No one makes it out alive, so go for it. Give it all you got. Live your life with prayers in your soul, love in your heart, compassion in your life, and remember, love always prevails. Thank you, love you, and I appreciate you all. And let's go cut the ribbon.
Wow. Hold that, man. You made it so much easier. Yeah. Still live? Microphone's still live? Still on?